Amber here. So awesome to have you hanging out with me today. In today's guitar tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. I'm going to be showing you a handful of beginner guitar chords and one really simple strumming pattern that you can use throughout the entire song. So before we can jump into the lesson, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and please to like this video. All your support is really, really helpful in allowing me to continue making videos like this where I can share guitar content with you. So I've zoomed in to take a closer look at the chords we're going to be needing for the song. The first thing to take note of is that we need a capo on the first fret. This just ensures that we're in the same key as the original song. The first chord that we're going to be learning is an E minor chord. Now for this lesson you can use fingers 1 and 2 or if it's more comfortable you can use fingers 2 and 3. The next chord we need is a G major chord. Then we're going on to a D major and an A major. Next up we have a C major chord. And then the last chord we need is a B7. And I'm going to be showing you my easy B7 chord today. We're going to put our middle finger into the second fret on the fifth string. Our first finger is going to go onto the fourth string in the first fret. And our third finger you're going to put on the third string in the second fret. And we strum from the fifth string down. Take a moment now to pause the video and to memorize the chords. Practice changing back and forth between them so that you can develop your muscle memory when moving on into learning the rest of the song. Right, so the chord sequence used in the verse is E minor, G, D, and A. So let's practice those chords in that sequence. Changing to G, to our D, and to A one more time. Now, you can play the entire song using just one down strum on each chord. However, I'm going to be teaching you a strumming pattern and it sounds like this. Down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, and. struggling to change your chords fast enough, I would suggest using that final up strum at the end of each of the chord strumming patterns to lift your fingers off the strings to prepare for the next chord. So this is called a lift up method and I'll demonstrate it for you from the D to the A because that is quite a difficult chord change. So we're going to play your D, down, 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 and on the up, lift your fingers off so that you're getting ready for the A on beat one. And then so on and so on. So I'll show you one more time. Lift. Moving on into the chord pattern for the chorus, it starts on a C major to a G, to a D major, and to our E minor. And we can use the same pattern that we were using in the verse. Down, 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 switch. My shadow's the only one that walks beside me. Down, down. In the last 
last line of the chorus, that is where our B7 chord is going to be featured. So it's going to sound like this. We're going to take it from a C to the G. And when we go to the B7 chord, we're going to strum down five times. One, two, three, four, five. So with the singing. actually do a palm mute at the end of that too just for a dramatic effect so last time C, G, one, two, three, four, five. Stop. all that's left to do now is to do a final playthrough of the song so grab your guitar and join me in the next section of this lesson one two three go everyone that is how you play boulevard of broken dreams by green day thanks again for sticking with me in my lesson today i really hope that you enjoyed the lesson today if you did don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel it would be awesome if you could also drop down in the comments and say hi i really love to read all your messages until next time i'm sure i'll be seeing you in my next lesson have a great day bye